Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, everyone. To all of my new subscribers and new family members, welcome, y'all. Hello to my tribe and family at large. Listen, y'all, welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Of course, y'all know I love to always, always mention our Thursday night live streams. Listen, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday night, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is where it goes down. Yes, it does. Listen, if you're ready to go from healing to wholeness to boldness, you don't want to miss the Thursday night live streams. All right. Listen, jump in the chat, grab a snack, come on back and, and invite some folks to come back with you. And of course, every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is always 2.1K plus, plus, plus on the likes. Listen, if you rock with your girl, one, two, three, four. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. One, two, three, four. Hit that like button. Hit that like. Y'all, y'all dancing. Y'all singing with me. Because this is how we roll. <laughs> y'all let me jump into the topic of this video make sure y'all smash on that like button for your girl all right listen i want to talk about this subject of you know control chaos with a narcissist i want to talk about it i want to jump into this i want to talk about also why you can never experience peace with a narcissist they are masters at controlled chaos okay now, some of you all uh, are probably already throwing your hands up like, okay, see, this is what I already knew with the narcissist. I mean, it wasn't your imagination. It wasn't the fact that you were always doing something to cause the narcissist to go off. Listen, narcissists are just, they are pre-wired to detonate. There it is. I said it. They are pre-wired to detonate. Listen, a narcissist when when you're dealing with a person that has unresolved trauma when you're dealing with a person that is on top of all of the unresolved trauma they are in denial and they're delusional about their trauma baby you ain't gonna get no peace with that mm -mm. now let's be clear there is no peace to be had in that situation i need y'all to really hear me with this because sometimes what the narcissist wants to do is they want to paint a picture. Oh, you know, I just want to, I just want peace. No, what they're saying to you is I just want control. Okay, let me back it up. Let me rewind it. I just want peace. No, what they're saying is I just want control. Because control in a situation is the narcissist's peace. Okay, let's be clear. That's their peace. And even when you give them all of the controls, they're still not happy. So this is why we tell you all, when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're going to absolutely fall into the double bind, meaning you danged if you do, you danged if, if you don't. This is what it is with a narcissist. But you will never experience peace with a narcissist because that is not a part of their makeup that is a not that is not a part of who they are and a lot of you came away from the relationship with all types of ailments mentally emotionally physically all because you were dealing with an individual that was literally an anti-peace vessel bam here it is an anti-peace vessel you were literally dealing with a person that literally, I mean, when I tell you they despise peace and some of y'all going to testify to this, it's quiet in the house. Everybody is getting along. People, you know, the kids are doing their thing. You doing your thing. I mean, it's just peaceful. Things are just rolling right along. What does the narcissist do? Jump up, start an argument, go in there and start aggravating the kids. Even the dog or the cat. I mean, something because the quietness is actually a, it's bothersome to a narcissist. A narcissist doesn't want peace and they don't want you to have peace. What they want you to do is be in pieces because they can control you better being in pieces. So this is what these birds do is they do this thing called controlled chaos. Okay. It is chaos that they produce. It is chaos that they 
fuel and it is chaos that they regulate and they govern. And this is what this is literally how they control you. It's through controlled chaos because they know that as long as you have peace, you can as long as you can have some peace and solitude, you can think. Ah, that's not allowed with a narcissist. What you mean you can think? You don't need to think. The narcissist needs to do your thinking for you, except for when they're in trouble or except for when they when they're putting you in a place to be parentified and and taking care of all of their crap for them. That's when they need you to think. But any other time in a relationship with a narcissist, no, nah, you thinking is not allowed. You are supposed to be literally on remote control from this narcissist doing everything. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. It's so bad that a narcissist will literally sit down in front of you, lie to you and tell you, listen, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know why you're always starting problems. I don't know why it's always got to be a problem with you. But every time I turn around, it's something with you. But literally, this is what they're doing. Watch this. It's not that it's a problem with you. It's it's about what they're doing is they're going back. They're undermining your undermining your conversations. They're actually going and undoing things that are agreements or whatever. Even if it's just stuff in the house, they will literally move stuff in the house. They'll move your keys. They'll move uh, things that are situated in certain places. And then you start complaining like, where is this? Where is that? I mean, why can't I get this? And that? the narcissist set all of that up. Because the chaos is what fuels them. Yes, it is what fuels and feeds their dysfunctionality, right? Because they don't like to have peace. Why? Because the peace actually, it does something to them. They don't understand it. And when it's too quiet in a situation, it actually makes them uncomfortable. Some of y'all saw the narcissist pacing. Narcissist is pacing around, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What's wrong? Until they get on somebody's nerves, until they get on the children's nerves, until they, they uh, start an argument with you, until they have aggravated the cat, the dog, brought another person into the situation, started up with the triangulation. That's one right there. That's a huge one. Some of y'all don't even know that. Some of the nar sometimes the narcissists, in order to disrupt the peace in the house, they'll start triangulating you with any and everything. And some of y'all got triangulated with a whole lie. Yeah, you did. You did. Got triangulated with a whole lie. You got compared to something that didn't even exist. You didn't know it. It's all because you can never experience peace with these birds. They are, they are masters at control chaos. If there is peace in the house, that means that the narcissist is not on their job. You got to understand that this thing is spiritual. When you're dealing with a person that doesn't have the spirit of the living God governing their lives and literally what they're doing is being controlled by dark forces, baby, you ain't gonna have no peace off up in there. Baby, let me tell you something. What you're going to have is a whole bunch of anxiety. What you're going to have is a whole bunch of ailments. Your guts is bothering you. You got gastric problems. You got uh, you got problems in your central nervous system. Come on, y'all going to testify in the comments. Your back is hurting. Your lower back is hurting. Some of y'all develop autoimmune uh uh, immune uh, diseases, dealing with these dusty, raggedy birds. I said it, these backwards walking giraffes. Yo, your health had literally been put on the back burner and piling up health problem after health problem because you have no peace. And that is what the narcissist wanted to leave you in pieces because they are masters at control chaos. It wasn't your imagination, trust me. It was not your imagination. It wasn't just you always picking and trying to find something and trying to correct. And then they're telling you that you're starting problems. No, the problem started with them. When you let them into your life, what you did was you, you adopted a big 200, 300, 150 pound, 125 pound problem, a big bag of problems. Dust and earth. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what you adopted. Nar you would never have peace in your life with a narcissist. 
Never, ever. They are always going to be, they're always going to create situations where they can control the chaos in your life. This is why I tell you, when you find out what you're dealing with, you don't play with that thing. You get up out of there. You say, you know what? I understand that you are anti-peace. You don't even have to tell them that. You already, you already know what time it is because you, you see what you have endured for the time that you have been with them. You'll never please a narcissist. A person that's traumatized, that, that refuses to deal with their trauma can never be pleased. Okay? Because they're, they're dealing with the spirit of rejection. And until rejection is rooted up out of that person, they got to recognize that. A narcissist is not going to recognize that because there's nothing wrong with the narcissist, according to them. It's everything wrong with you. Y'all hit that like button for your girl. Listen, I wanted to get this out here because I want you to understand it's nothing about what you were doing or what you kept doing in the situation. It was everything about what the narcissist had already pre-planned from the genesis of the relationship with the two of you. Believe that. All right. It's the narcissist. You can never experience peace with a person that is not peaceable, that is not peaceful. And they never want you to experience peace. They want you to be in pieces so they can control you. Remember that family, please remember to share this video with some folks that can use it. All right. Be really good to yourselves. And I will see you all on the next video. I love you guys. And I will see you healed and whole at the top. Shalom family. Peace.